Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to another edition of Awesome Calls Trading, trading recap for June 3rd. Uh, Sam, to answer your question before I begin, uh, there's the poll. There it is, traders. Slam it down. Do not long the stock, I'm telling you. It'll come all the way down here. There you go. And that is how you make $2,000 on a trade. That's exactly, if you had shorts, you just made two grand shorting that stock with size because you know where the stock's going to go. What did I tell you? Where did I tell you? It's just going to come slam right down. And there's your trade. So predictable. This is a, if you hadn't traded all day, let this thing just do that. And all you have to do is short at the top. And you make all that money. This is pure cash to each and every one of you. But if you don't have a platform that doesn't allow you shorts, you can't capitalize on these type of plays. IB, Cobra, probably most of them all had shorts. But you, TD, no shorts. Otherwise, I would have been just sizing in on this sucker, just, just laughing at it. Beautiful. Um... Shopify, let me look at this. Uh, now, if you do uh, long it, put your stops right there, 758. You have to risk a point and a half on it, okay? All right, okay. Uh, let's start by, well, this morning we, um, we had a really great day today. Uh, we started with a, a stock called Huge. Huge got FDA approval on a phase two, which is really really pretty good so on this particular stock what we did we actually was more of a pre-market play and it was kind of done right at the open um, so what we did on this one uh, there was really no big history on it um, it was already breaking out through the 11 in pre-market this morning but uh, in the last five days the stock kind of been trading down here at these levels but this morning the news hit um and uh you could see the volume kicked in and so for us in what we did um in pre-market um okay sam you should have made a point just now on shop okay so now what you could do is move your stops up to 760 on the trade okay and then just try to walk it through if it breaks out you'll get 763 764 so you should make about two to three points on that trade okay um, and so on, on huge, what we did, I'm just sorry, uh, sometimes you, I get, I, I help traders cause this is a live webinar during trading hours. So it's important that I answer their questions uh, so they can make money while I'm talking. Anytime you see something traders interrupt me, doesn't matter if I'm talking, just like, you know, this is, you're important to me. And if Sam can make two, three hundred dollars on this trade by a hundred shares and it pops three or four points, then you know what? All power to Sam. He deserves it. So now see this trade, he alerted at 760. It's now 763. On 100 shares, it's $300. On a simple trade, just like that. By asking a simple question, where is the stock going to go? Okay, but that's what that's what Sam's paying for. Now it's up another point. That's a four-point trade right here. One, two, three, four. Let's see here. What's the news? LA County curfew 9 p.m. tonight to 5 a.m. for Los Angeles County. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. So on huge, what we did this morning is I saw the chart pattern. I was looking at it, and I told everyone I would be long at 10.50. If the stock breaks out over 12, I see 12 in pre-market, and you could see my writing. And this is one of the first things I did when I got in the room at 6 o'clock, 30 minutes before the opening bell. Uh, Trader Zoom is moving too. You can take Zoom. It's making a move. There's Zoom. And um, so on huge, we went long at 10.50. I walked it up to 12. It got halted. And all those that were long waited. As soon as it unhalted, it popped. You had to do a market order, and then it sold off, and then it hasn't looked back since. But the key trade was in pre-market at 10.50 all the way to $11.90. Uh, 
uh, eight cents. A wonderful trade for everyone in pre-market. About a point and a half into the money, and the guidance was there, as you can see. How I uh, take it at 10.50, stops at 9.75, so the risk was 75 cents for a push to 12 before the open. So it was all scripted. Okay, and then I said when the halt comes, it apply pop through 13 with a 13.50 topping. The other one we did was Wiza. Uh, Wiza, 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 I don't know how to say it, Wiza, um, they had some wireless 8K LG electronics, it's a pop and fade, when I write that, that simply means that the stock is going to uh, just simply do that, fade off to 250 to 260, I don't see any long in it, I would not buy the stock, um, so what I do on those, I set those up by just reading the news, and I just let everyone know to short the stock, and as you can see, and the long in the room was going to be at 425. As you can see, it did not hit that. It didn't come clear. It popped off. Uh, topping, clear as day. Lower low set in. Slammed it down. And the stock is coming down to 275, 250. Really a very scripted, scripted trade. Can't stress that enough. The next one I did um, was a stock called HQY. This was an earnings play. I really love earnings. I can't stress it enough. And another one we did was RGA. Um, HQY uh, did not have very impressive earnings, but after doing the research, I determined that the stock uh, would rebound. And it would not rebound more than probably $60 a share. And I'll show it to you right here on HQY. HQY was going to gap me down. I wanted a pull at the open to $55. When it hit the 55 area, I wanted everyone to long it. And then I saw maybe a 58.50 rebound on it and then a grind out. Well, we got lucky. It didn't hit just 58.50. It hit almost $60 a share. If you bought the 55 area, it nicely curled right there. This is what we call a bottom curl on our chart patterns. This is the breakout right here at 57, but we're already giving you in at 55. Again, this is all about knowing the trade and the move before it even happens. And that's exactly what we did in this particular play. It was a wonderful trade. Well executed, um, really nice. RGA was an offering. I've given several offerings the last two weeks, over 100 points worth of offerings. Offerings are discounted on, discounted, um, uh, I'm sorry, discounted stocks um, with reasons to buy. So on this particular one, as it was clockwork. Um, again, here is the filing. This is what a filing looks like. They file a couple days later. They do the offering, so you get you get three pulls, right? The file, the offering. See the gap down, right? This final one is the pricing. File, offer, price. Once the price is established, you see where it closed the night before, ninety-two dollars a share, and all you had to do was just buy that weakness. And there it is, right there. And then we bought, um, so this one I indicated this morning to pick up the stock at 82 and $83 a share. The, I believe the offering price was 81 um, right there. 6 million shares, which is small, relatively speaking, 81 a share. And, uh, and so on this particular one, I just simply said to, uh, to pick up uh, the 8250 to 83. If it pulls under 82, it was a buy, 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 and the stock would move all the way back to $90 a share. $90 a share. You want to see this one? To a lot of you, this would be magical to hear. This is what people pay for. Okay? Ding, 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 ding. RGA. Here's the pull. There's the 82, 83 area. And where did I say the stock would go? $90 a share. And it stopped at 90.37. This is what we do. This is what we do. That was just an absolutely beautiful trade.
Next one we did today was a BTIQ. Uh, a couple of traders in the room nailed it on, on the way back. Uh, I was looking at this. Um, yesterday, we've been playing this the last couple of days. It's a very tricky stock. It's not the easiest to play, but once you understand it, um, the one thing I can always stress to everyone in the chat room, short the pops. It's all you have to just, just remember those words, short the pops. There's cer certain stocks like VTIQ, Space, that just come to mind. These are trades that cannot hold their pops. What I mean by that, okay, I'll show you a difference on a trade here, uh, just so you're kind of watching this video. You see how this trends up and just moves up and the pops get stabilized? See the pop? They hold it. They buy it again. Pop, hold it, buy it again. Pop, hold it, buy again. Now, I want you to watch uh, a ch these chart patterns here. Okay, are you ready? All right, now watch this. Pop, dump, pop, dump. Even on, this is just the downside of it. Now watch the upside of it. Here's an upside move. Pop, dump, pop, dump, pop, dump. Will not hold, will not hold ever. Okay, and then you'll get, you know, and then if you watch space, it's the same trade. See how this is the ugliest trade in the world. Space is just like every, I mean, oh my gosh, it's like chopped liver. There's nothing you can do on the trade. Nothing. You short sellers, I swear you're having a field day on VTIQ. It is giving it all up. Look at that. It gave up the entire push. You see that? This is why you cannot buy a pop let that be a lesson to each and every one of you to avoid buying pops on certain stocks you cannot chase it you cannot buy it because this is what will happen to you you will lose everything okay all right coming back down over here um, so the next one we did was zoom zoom was a beautiful setup today now I kind of estimated, now Zoom has had a heck of a run. I'll show you the last uh, 20 days on it. And Zoom has had a hell of a run uh, from 150 all the way to 200. Uh, this is before the earnings. So there was going to be some, some serious profit taking going on on it. At the same token, um, the stock had incredible numbers. Incredible, incredible numbers. So today... I felt that the stock would actually kind of sell off a little bit on profit taking. I estimated the stock would come down to two hundred and two dollars a share, and that's what I wrote. You don't believe me? Right there. This stock will snap if it snaps two hundred seven. Short the stock, take it down to two hundred two, then bottom curl it. All day move to the upside. See, how I wrote it with a two eighteen or more move. It's exactly how I wrote it. How much percent of the stock will push after price and offerings? Well, it just depends. That stock was down 12, 14 points, Sam. You're going to get at least, I was anticipating at least half of that back. If you're down 12, I'm thinking six, seven points, which is about $90 a share. So, I mean, that thing is just like I gave you GH yesterday. Remember that one? I gave you six or seven points on that one. Just two days in a row. I said, if, if I write, remember I keep saying, if I write discount buy, Traders, discount, buy, traders, buy, buy, buy. You don't have to trade any stock at all, just one, and you're done for the day. All you need is one point out of the out of the nine or ten. So that's how that worked. Um, the next one was Crowd. Now Crowd um, had decent earnings. Um, However, I did feel that the crowd was going to pop at the open towards 105, and then we were going to short it, and I felt the stock would come down to about $95 a share. If it breaks 99, we would probably see 95 on it. So this was a really good stock. I was looking for a 105 pop, and then about a 5 to 8 point pull on it. And I'll show you how that one worked on crowd. And there you go. Ding, 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 ding. Pop at the open. Here's the pop scale in um, it didn't hit 105 it hit 103.80 which is pretty darn close and here is the sell-off to 95 95.60 to be exact great trade 
great, 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 great. The next one we did was restoration hardware. On this one, I felt that it would continue to the upside. So it was gapping up this morning. I'll show you the gap up. Really nice trade today. Uh, I struggled with it early on because I missed the, the big move. But you can see the move. You see how it, you see how it gapped up? It closed here at 248 and then gapped all the way up to uh, 256. And so what I did on that one is I felt that the stock would... Um, I thought I felt the stock would uh, sell off. I was thinking 247, 249 area per pre notes, but the stock actually pulled all the way to this support level of 242, 243, and it just bounced. Oh my gosh! Uh, and I even said the stock was should hit 257 to 260 today on Restoration Hardware. Yep, 255 to 260. We should see on it. We would have a solid run on it on the pullback. Really scripted trade. Really, really skipped it. Um, we did a, an afternoon trade on Sava today. This was a nice trade today. This came in from a, tri a trader, uh, uh, Neil. Uh, this is a bottom curl, curled right through. About right here, Neil talked to me about it, and I liked it, and uh, suggested longing at 320 with stops at 3, and the stock ripped all the way to 390. So nice afternoon trade there. Really, really nice. Really nice. Uh, the next one we did, uh, Cake. Cake is Cheesecake Factory. They made an announcement that they're going to plan on reopening their, their restaurants on June uh, 15th. And that's good for investors, get back to making money again. So the stock was going to be in play today. It was already gapping up too. I felt the stock had more room to go to about 24.50 before it broke down or break woods to break but the stock just continued to climb higher and this is what we call a topping here this was pretty defined they couldn't break through that 25 uh, 45 area and they just kind of sold it off I just kind of pulled it anyway it was a great trade from the opening bell I did trade this I made a few bucks on it hold on how much did I do I made two hundred seventy dollars and seven cents I captured about 27 cents of this move wish I could have stayed in longer uh, this would have been a big payday, but I had twenty-four fifty on it. It ran to twenty-five, twenty-five fifty. Uh, cake. This is a trade that you you just wouldn't trade in any other room but ours. This is our third pick today. I wanted to pop. I do not buy unless it hit twenty-three. If it did, we go to twenty-four fifty. And by doing that, it gives the traders the actual guidance how to trade the stock. There's no hidden agenda. There's no nothing. I'm very sharing with you exactly how to trade the stock. Yeah. Do I want some sort of gap fill? Of course, who doesn't? But if you're going to buy this stock, wait for it to show you. This is what we say a lot of times to day traders, that, especially when they're starting out. Hey, wait for the stock to show you. Don't jump into it until it shows you. And this is the perfect op example. Of it showed you. Once it hit 23, you're going to go to 24.50 or more. So all you do is when you come in here, you sit there and wait. And you're going, okay, all right. 23.50 right there, longed it, hit 24 right there, pulled back, stayed still above, came back to 23, 23 again, which you can see it stayed. So even if you were along the 23 level, you're still in the money the whole time. Once it broke out, I mean, this was just a long right here. I mean, how could you not? I mean, it was just, that was too easy. And then just this piece right here is where I made my money. I wish I could have stayed the whole move. Because uh, that would have been about five, six hundred dollars, and then the entire move would have paid even more. But it got a little choppy up here. Uh, not the easiest trade. Uh, this was easy. I call this pretty easy. Pops were held up. They didn't chop you to pieces. But when it got over here, um, you could see it just kind of got very choppy. Very difficult to trade here. Would have avoided it right there. All right. Uh, but overall, a wonderful day. We did some, I mean, we had stock ranges from $20, $3, $5. Um, I'll show you one last one, MCHP. Again, just did the research this morning, felt the stock was a long, thought it would break out, hit probably 108 on my notes this morning on MCHP, figured 106 to 107 at least. Uh, had massive upgrades this morning. No reason for you to short the stock or try to gap fill it. And here's the plan. That was that. 
So that is today's webinar recap. Covered about a dozen stocks and um, taught you to trade how to trade a few things. And tomorrow, I hope to find an amazing offering offering for everyone in the chat room. And if we do, everyone will have an opportunity to make six or seven points on a trade. And everyone will be happy. All right. Thank you. I will see you tomorrow.